Rotava for apparatus and this video I'll show you how it works and of course we will take an example um, basically it is constituted between uh, from um, heat and bath so this is where we have heat water and here we have the temperature uh, usually we use 40 degree as a standard and we use different pressure here this is a vacuum pressure a vacuum pump generates some pressure and every solvent that we use for example we are aiming to remove hexane or ethyl acetate every solvent has its own um, boil or pressure this is a table where we have a list of the most used solvents and every solvent has the vacuum this is the vacuum and millibar for boiling point at 40 degree as you can see here I'll make my experience with ethyl acetate this is the ethyl acetate and the pressure that I have to set up 240 millibar okay uh, just to understand very well the boiling point at uh, 1030 millibar this is the atmospheric one of ethyl acetate um, we need 77 um, degree and 77 degree it's so high and if we can uh, if we make 77 degree of course we will uh, denature our substances to avoid this risk we use only 40 degree and we decrease the pressure instead of using 1030 millibar we use only 240 uh, millibar okay and we have also this is the condenser and uh, here we have the water the cold water and when the solvent uh, reach the surface of the the condenser it comes down right this is the refrigerator I have to turn it on okay for 240 and now we will uh, put our sample here rotation and let's go Well, this is it. Um, I'll try also during the next videos to uh, talk more about the Rotavapor apparatus because there are a lot of things that you need to know about it and more than that because uh, sometimes we might encounter some issues in terms of the boiling point of some solvents the, the relation between pressure and why we decrease the pressure and uh, this is it 